Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new 5.0 EX Casio calculator to solve the circular measure. Right, so normally in circular measure, you will see a sector. And then for this sector, normally you will have the uh, radius and at the same time, you will have the uh, angle as well. Right, but you need to pay attention for this topic, especially the angle must be always in radian. So if your angle is in degree, you kind of need to change to radian. One of the reasons is both of this formula for S equals to R theta and A equals to half R square theta. Both of these formulas are designed the theta is only for radian. What do I mean here is like if today this one is 50 degree, you sub the 50 into the angle here then you will get that wrong answer because this both of these formula are designed for radian only. So remember, both of this angle must be in radian. If you have the question like this, and then they ask you to find an area of shadow region, uh, which is the green color parts here. So in order to find an area of shadow region, we have a formula for it. Uh, this area of shadow region, there's name for it, we call segment. All right, we have a formula for segment, which is half R square theta, minus sine theta. And I love these formulas a lot because this formula actually can find this shadow region like very fast. In their school, their teacher actually asked them to do separately. One of the reasons is their teacher actually tell them that the theta must be in degree, the angle here must be in degree, then only you can use the calculator to solve. That means if your angle right now in radian, you, ca you kind of cannot use the calculator to solve. Right, that's not true because nowadays I think even the older version of Casio calculator can solve the trigonometry, which is sine cos tangent uh, in radian. So over here, I'm going to show you both methods, like how to straight away uh, use this formula or you want to uh, do it separately. All right, so if, if I straight away want to use this formula, it's kind of very easy. So I, I just do half, my R is 10, 10 square, and theta minus sine theta. My theta is just 0 0.8, so it's 0 0.8 minus sine 0.8. Right, then I will just key in everything into my calculator and then I will get the final answer which is correct one to find the area of shadow region here. Okay, but when I want to key in the calculator, I have a small problem here because this angle itself is already in the radian, but my calculator on the top here is D. D stands for degree. So when you want to key in like sine 0.8 here, you want to make sure your calculator is in radian. So this letter D here represents your calculator right now in degree. So you need to change it to the radians. This is how you need to do. You tap the shift uh, menu, which is go for setup. And then you want to change your angle unit, which is number two. And then you change your angle unit into radian, which is number two again. D letter just now, now change to the R already, stand for radian. Then you can insert all the value real quick, multiply 10 square, and then multiply Put the bracket 0 0.8 minus sine 0 0.8 and then close the bracket okay then you can easily get the answer of this area of shadow region which is about 4.1322 all right let's say cm square so this answer basically is the shadow region here okay okay if you want to do it like separately okay so you you kind of need to know uh, some formula here so you need to use the area of sector all right and then you minus the area of triangle okay so you, you kind of can see the pattern this is like the whole thing and then minus the triangle then you can get the shadow region like this okay then you can get the shadow region like this okay so okay what's the formula for area of sector which is this one half r square theta what's the formula for area of triangle uh it's half a b sine c all right a and b must be both side c must be angle between all right but then in this case because your a and b is basically same length isn't it so this is the reason why my a is just r here my b is just r so then i can say r multiply r i get r square sine and what is the angle the angle is basically same with the theta right so if i write like this you kind of can understand how Actually, I get the formula of area of segment because if I factorize out the half r square from both here, I will get this formula. All right, 
Okay, but anyways, I will just want to show you uh, something here. Okay, if I want to do the half hour square theta, some students might think that, oh, if my calculator in D, can I straight away key in uh, the theta into here, which is a half hour square 0 0.8? Can, can you do that or not? Yes, you can. Because the theta over here doesn't have any sine, cos, or tangent. So it doesn't matter whether your calculator is in degree or radian, it doesn't matter. But when your expression here have sine, cos, or tangent, then you always need to check your angle units over here. Okay, so, so let's say I want to insert this value over here, like half r squared, my r is just 10 squared, and then my theta is uh, 0 0.8. Okay, minus half r squared, sine, all right. Right now, if I want to change my angle into a degree, and then to check whether I will get back the same answer or not. Here, you kind of need to know a little bit it's like how to change from radian, because right now it's radian into the degree. So, so whatever radian angle you want to change the degree, there's a, a rule is like you need to multiply 180 over pi. So this is the reason why if I want to change my 0 0.8 radian into degree, I just multiply 180 over pi. Then the whole thing right now is in term of degree. Okay, so I will do the same here with 0 0.8 multiply 180 over pi. Okay, so I hope you kind of can see what is happening here. Okay, then what I will do here is I will key everything into my calculator here. But right now, because this angle is in radian, this angle is in degree. But like what I say just now, because here doesn't have sine cos tangent, so I can actually straight away change my calculator into a degree. Angle units, I go for number one, which is the degree. You can see the D on the top here. So if I straight away tap everything, one over two, multiply 10 square, and then multiply 0 0.8, and then minus the same thing, one over two, and then multiply, my R is what? My R is basically 10, also right, 10 square. And then I multiply the sign. Right here, I insert the whole thing. 0 0.8 multiply 180 over pi. And then I close the bracket two times because I just want to. Uh, I, I think close the bracket one time should be enough. Right, so then I will type equal. So you can see my final answer over here is 4.1322 cm square which is exactly the same answer over here. So over here, I just want to show you, basically you can straight away solve this one, just like changing your calculator in the radian, because most of the school, school nowadays, they will ask them to actually do separately just to make sure this angle is in degree, but it's unnecessary. All right, I hope this video actually will help you understand better on how to solve the trigonometry uh, value in either radian or degree. So if you are interested to buy this calculator, I will share the Lazada link at my description below. The link will bring you to the Casio flagship store because right now, uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.